So my practice encompasses two main areas. First is orthopedic oncology. And in the nature of orthopedic oncology, which deals with bone and soft tissue tumors, particularly with the bone tumors, we have to take out large segments of bone sometimes, and we have to reconstruct those. So the second part of my practice deals with the reconstructions, so adult reconstructive surgery, in particular total hip and total knee replacements. Since I'm the only orthopedic oncologist in the entire region, I get patients from the Canadian border all the way down to northern Pennsylvania, uh, west to beyond Rochester, and east all the way down close to New York City, sometimes up close to Vermont or in Vermont. I try to bring the additional level of care that an academic institution should bring to every case, and that is that we bring the additional expertise, experience, innovation, technology, and techniques that we have available to us to offer to the patient. We're fortunate at Upstate to have the macoplasty for use in our total joints. We use this on a routine basis at Community General Hospital for our total hips and for doing partial total knees. And in the near future, probably we'll be using this for total knees as well. My research is solely driven by patient problems that I observe in my practice in orthopedic oncology. Much of the work that we have done has focused upon pediatric patients and the damaging effects of radiation on their growth when they're being treated for malignant tumors. And we've broadened that more recently to the damaging effects of radiation on bone fragility, which applies not only to the pediatric population, but also the adult population. Communication with the team is essential because in the care, particularly of these complex patients, we have multiple other types of physicians involved. Radiation oncologist, medical oncologist, pathologist, radiologist, and without their care and participation in the team effort, we can't give these patients the best possible care. And that also means communication back to the referring physician to keep them in the loop. I'm an empathetic, caring physician who has uh, more than 20 years of experience uh, to bring to bear in, in the care of these patients, both from an orthopedic oncology standpoint and an adult reconstructive standpoint.